Hi classmates and welcome back to Your English Classroom. Okay, so in today's lesson we're going to be looking at basic English grammar. We're going to be looking at the difference between two and four. So if you've any, ever had any problems with this, then now you're in the right place. But before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. We want to get to a thousand subscribers and grow the class. We've also got a WhatsApp group, so if you want to get involved, comment down below and we'll put you inside the group. Okay, so let's look at two. Two actually means transferring from one place to another. So let's take a look at these examples. I go to school every day. It means you're moving, you're transferring somewhere. Talk to your friend about that. You're talking, your speech is moving from one person to another. He sold his car to me. The car was sold from one person to another. It's been moved, it's transferred. Okay, so let's take a look at four. Well, four actually means a benefit. So it's benefiting something or someone, or there's a purpose and a reason behind it. So let's look at the example of the gift, for example. I bought this for you. So someone bought this for you. There was a purpose behind it. She's studying for an exam. Again, there's a purpose and a reason why she's studying. Take this tea upstairs for your mother. There's a reason why you're taking it. Good manners. There's a purpose behind it. Okay. So let's have a look at when you find these words in similar sentences. Well, I made a phone call to my boss. I made a full phone call for my boss. Now, this too, at the beginning, at the first sentence, is actually talking to your boss. You're speaking directly to your boss. But I made a phone call for my boss. It means that you're not speaking to your boss. You're doing it for your boss. You're speaking to somebody else, not your boss. She bought lunch to me. She bought lunch for me. Now, bought lunch to me, your friend is physically bringing the lunch for you. But bought lunch for me, she's paid for the lunch. So it's a gift for you. Now, I've got an exercise for you, so I'm going to go through them one by one. You can leave your answers down below in the comment section, and I'll get back to you whether they're correct or incorrect. So we've got, I gave the drink her. He bought a gift me. They are studying an exam. It will take 10 minutes. Drive there. Okay, have a go, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.